Hey. I'm Dr. Cozy. It's nice to meet you. You find our office okay? Okay, good. Good. Can I just get you to verify for me your name and date of birth? Just taking a look at what you wrote on your paperwork. Okay. So you have been experiencing some chronic ringing in your ears, pressure. History of otitis media and eustachian tubes when you were younger, okay. How long have your symptoms been going on for? Has it been constant or... Have you noticed if there's any sort of situation or stimulus that exacerbates your symptoms? Like, for example, taking a bath or going swimming, getting water in the ears. Okay. And what treatments have you tried in the past? either of those things provide any kind of relief for you, or... Okay. So, temporarily. Okay. examination here of your ears as well as your throat and then and then we will also be conducting a hearing test today let me just move these headphones to the side here I will be forwarding those results to your primary care physician um, when I saw you listed their number on your paperwork, as well as the ENT doctor that referred you here. If you would also like to have a copy of your records, we can go ahead and arrange that as well. So then after my examination and some testing, we will be doing the ultrasound. It does have a good efficacy rate, however, it is not a permanent relief, so it will need to be repeated monthly, so that way we can maintain the cessation of your symptoms, okay? Okay, I know. This is a difficult ailment, and there really isn't a known cause. Unfortunately, we have not yet discovered a permanent treatment. We can only treat it incrementally for you, but it really does help improve quality of life, so it is worth doing. Let's get some gloves on here. Oops, we want to drop a glove. Let's get a new one. That one side has more intense symptoms, ringing, pressure. Okay. 
How about have you experienced any sort of pain or tenderness in your ears or around them? if I touch you. Thank you. Let me know if anything I do causes any kind of level of discomfort, okay? seeing any sort of abnormality in the cartilage of the external ears. That's good.
look at the inside. Scope. I have something called an insufflator bulb and what this is going to do is allow me to blow just a small puff of air right into the air canal so that way I can get a sense of the mobility of your eardrums. Your eardrums are just extremely thin membranes vibrate in response to auditory stimuli, noise, and sometimes if there is fluid or any sort of issue in the structure of the internal ear, such as inflammation, infection, even just a birth defect, then the eardrum has a difficult time vibrating in its full range of motion. I'm going to take a look. Often the cause would be fluid around the eardrum, which is difficult to see normally on exam if it's a deep ear infection in the inner ear. So. appear that on that side, your tympanic membrane has good range of motion. So we're going to check. The other side. The other side.
put that away for now. both internally and externally because while I'm not seeing any indication in your ear exam of fluid the throat can also let us know if there's anything present because that would be where the fluid would drain so we can see based on if there's any evidence of redness in the throat and I'm not seeing anything tonsils look good been experiencing anything like post-nasal drip. you to swallow for me. Perfect. And again. One more time. Okay. Perfect. I'm not seeing any indication of drainage or infection on that exam. Have you had a hearing test done in the past? Oh, recently. Okay, so it's been a while. Just looking in your history to see if I had that information. Do you remember the name of the physician or even the clinic who performed it? Okay. and I will 
I'll give them a call and see if we can't get a copy of your records. So, okay. test portion. So I'm going to be placing these headphones over your ears and they are sound isolating so that way you will only clearly hear the tones played. Okay. So once these are on your ears and I start the test, you're going to hear a series of tones. I want you to raise your hand in correspondence to which side you hear the tone. So if you hear it on your left, you're going to raise your left hand. You hear it on your right, you're going to raise your right, okay? Yeah, simple. So, let's From your ears. And one moment, just input our data.
We will be repeating that testing after we perform the ultrasound. Now I do have one more hearing test that we're going to do. This one is more about hearing comprehension. So I will be whispering a number in each of your ears. I want you to tell me what you heard, okay? Our last number here will be seventy three. Perfect. sound. So first what I'm going to do is just put a drain procedure necessarily, but we will be using an ultrasound gel. That way if there are any kind of drips, you will both hand on the drape, not on your clothing. sound gel and it is a little bit cold. I'm going to be placing some around your ears.
of an interesting sound. going to do one here at a time, okay? If you start feeling any kind of dizziness due to like lack of balance, anything like that, or loss of balance, I want you to let me know and then I can alternate. My goodness. Then I can alternate between your ears more quickly, right? not finished with that side, but I want to make sure we keep things nice and balanced for you.
to right here. I'm good to the back of my ears.
and get deep back in here on the other side for this one.
to remove your drip side of your ears. You need to see if there is any sort of change after the ultrasound. So. Full range of motion. Get the other side now. any visual change I do see a little bit of redness. 
this present. Okay, yeah, I do see some So it looks like we do have signs of an ear infection going on here. So that's helpful. Let me just do a repeat external exam on your throat, okay? I'm just making sure. sort of lymphadenopathy. Is there any discomfort? It's totally natural if this makes you feel like you need to swallow. Swallowing. Can I get you to do that for me again? Good. And again. Perfect. going to be repeating the hearing testing, okay? So, I am going to be placing the headphones back over your ears again, alright?
going to be repeating the whisper testing, okay? You remember how this works? Okay, just making sure. So, let's see. Last time we started with the right. So, this time we're going to start on the left. note here, okay?
so that would you like me to send copies of this to any other physician aside from your ENT on your primary care? Okay. Would you like to have a copy of this yourself? Okay. Then, on your way out, I will need you to stop at the front desk and sign a medical release form, okay? Yeah, it's an important part of HIPAA. We have to have you sign. So then, have you ever taken azithromycin in the pack in the past, like a Z pack? Okay, so I'm going to be prescribing one of those for you for this ear infection. And as you know, it comes in a sort of paper container that tells you how much to take each day. You'll need to follow it and take all of the medication until it's finished, okay? Very important. Yeah. You always need to take your antibiotics as directed and take the full dose. That way we don't run the risk of developing any kind of antibiotic resistance, especially when it comes to having chronic infections. Just making sure now I have a pharmacy on file for you. assistant get that called in. In the meantime, if you develop any sort of new symptoms, I want you to give me a call and let me know. Same if any of your existing symptoms increase or worsen. And like I said, be refor I will be forwarding our notes from today to your doctors, and we will get you a copy as well. It generally takes about 24 hours. My transcriptionist will be typing up all of my notes, and then she can give you a call when everything is ready for you, okay? Okay. Do you have any questions for me before I step out? Well, if that changes, just give me a call, okay? Same goes for if you have any sort of reaction to the medication. Generally, azithromycin is easily tolerated by almost all of my patients, but every now and then somebody does have a sensitivity, so definitely let me know if that is the case, okay? Okay. So, we will talk soon. Like I said, give me a call or even come back in if you need anything, if you have any questions or your symptoms increase or change.